Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show. We are in the season of giving, and many parents right now are thinking about what to give our children. And joining us now to talk about three gifts for children that you can't wrap is Bayport Credit Union financial analyst Chris Jones. Chris, thanks for being with us. It's good to be here again. You. you know, talking about money can be very scary for some people. Absolutely. Yeah, so you've got ghosts coming in to help us out. <laughs> well, I was thinking about the gifts that we give our kids. And I was thinking, what could we, how could we tie this into the gifts of Christmas past and Christmas present and Christmas future? Mm -hmm. So that was kind of what I was thinking. When I think about Christmas past, there's no science to being a parent and raising children. It's probably more of an art. And part of that art for me is being a good storyteller. So I think it's important that we share with our kids the story of of our financial past, the goods and the bads, and you know, consider what, what parts of it you share with them, but let them know that our decisions affect what happens to us financially. And these are things that, as, as we share these stories with our children, they're, they're, these are memories that they'll carry forward with them when they find themselves in these situations, like the use of their credit card and, and how to manage their money, that hopefully mm -hmm. they'll learn from the stories that we share them from, from our past. Well, it might be a good, <clears throat> you know, when you say share with your, your, you've got your kids here with you today, oh, yeah. too, you've got your boys with you, so what have you shared with them, maybe an example, because sometimes you know, especially little kids, you tell them and they tell the world. You don't want the world knowing about your business, but yeah. <laughs> what do you we, tell them? We share with them a lot of general thoughts about just being mindful of your money, where, where all the dollars and cents go, mm -hmm. um, being, being uh, conscious of just the, the whole picture. And that's part of what I'll talk about when we talk about Christmas future you know, right. and, talk, and talk about budgeting. Well, I don't but, want you to jump ahead, so go oh, to the present. Go to the present. For Christmas <laughs> present, I think about the holiday shopping season and how the sh holiday mm -hmm. shopping season has turned into this three-month-long process. And it's, it's, it's a quarter of our year that we spend hearing we need to shop that we need to buy and we need to spend money for Christmas but a lot of times that can that could put us into a shopping mode when maybe we shouldn't be in a shopping mode mm -hmm. so I think about the present just living within your means and not being prompted to to spend money that you don't have just because you're being coaxed by a certain advertisement or or you're trying to keep up with the people around you Spend li living within your means is important because when you don't what you're doing is you're borrowing from your future income you're, you're mm -hmm. moving that future income into into today's period so it may be great for today but it's costing you in the future so I think living with in your means is a gift that we can give our kids. Something a lot of people need to work on, how we always think we have to have what the neighbors have, but you don't. It's, it's a okay. challenge. It really is. All right. And it so is. for the future, which we're all concerned about our children's futures, and this is what it's kind of about parenting and yes, money, money advice, what do we do for the future? Well, I always talk about budgeting. I talk about budgeting a lot when I come on the show. Um, but in terms of giving a budget to your kids as a gift, it's just letting them be part of that process. I think it's interesting to ask your kids, in, in your household, what recurring expenses can they identify? Because it's interesting to hear from their perspective, well, we always have to have food, we always have to have the TV on. And they might think, some, think in those terms, but they're probably not thinking about the heat always has to be on and the electricity the always has to be on. Just making right. them aware of all the recurring expenses and letting them know that all of those expenses have to happen within the amount of income we have. Right. And it has to happen within the amount of income we have because we want to be able to put a little bit aside, like in terms of our savings, for the fun things we want to do and look forward to the fun things and budget for those fun things. So I think that that's a gift that we can give our kids is let them be a part of that process. Perfect gift. Maybe not for Christmas morning, but any other day of the year, right? <laughs> Chris Jones, thank you so much. For more smart money management tools and strategies, stop by any of the 16 Bayport Credit Union locations across Hampton Roads or log on to bayportcu.org. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you.